New testimony today in the Kristen Smart case. The Cal Poly freshman disappeared from campus 25 years ago. The person she was last seen with, Paul Flores, is charged with her murder. His father, Ruben, is charged with accessory to murder after the fact. KSBY News supporter Alexa Bertola has a wrap-up of today's testimony in the preliminary hearing. This afternoon, a forensic specialist with the San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Office took the stand. Now, she talked about two different searches at Ruben Flores' Arroyo Grande home. Shelby Liddell first talked about March 15th and March 16th of this year as she was assigned to process the scene at 710 White Court. Besides taking photos, she collected soil samples too. She said that at three feet deep, while detectives were digging up under the deck in the backyard, they started noticing staining in the soil. Thick, dark staining was noticed down to four feet as well, and she collected samples along with control samples around the property. She returned on April 13th and 14th to collect more samples from under the deck as well as underneath the home. She also talked about how a trailer on the side of Ruben's home that was owned by Susan's boyfriend had a positive reaction to Blue Star, which tests blood. Meanwhile, we also heard from two dog handlers today who were involved in searching Ruben Flores' property. On March 15, 2021, dog handlers Christine Black and Karen Atkinson, both with the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office search and rescue team, were called in to search Ruben Flores' property. Located at 710 White Court, Black and her Belgian Malinois, Annie, searched the 1985 maroon-colored Volkswagen on the driveway for human remains, but she did not alert. Atkinson and her English lab Amiga did the same, but at a different time, with the same results. Black testified that underneath the decking in the backyard on the left side, Annie showed changes in her behavior that's consistent with the odor of human remains, but Annie did not go to a final response. She says she put her nose down, changed her breathing, snorted hard and circled, but she did not stare, which indicates she found human remains. In cross-examination, Paul Flores' attorney, Sarah Sanger, questioned whether a change in behavior is not an alert, and Black said yes. Ruben Flores' attorney, Harold Misick, questioned if Black searched any trailers on the property, and she said no. Atkinson said she noticed a slight change in behavior in Amiga on the left side under the deck as well. She said Amiga did some raised head pops and studied the area before moving on. She said the change in behavior is her characteristic behavior when she detects her target odor, human remains, but her alert is sitting and she did not sit. The preliminary hearing will pick back up tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. In San Luis Obispo, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. You'll find the latest updates on the preliminary hearing for Paul and Ruben Flores on our website, ksby.com. This QR code will take you directly to our continuing coverage of the Kristen Smart case. Just open up the camera app on your smartphone and point it at the screen to scan it.